So we got a bunch of stuff going home. Uh, we cover a list for the clients to tell them how to take care of the cars. Yeah, we'll go over that here in just a minute. Okay. like the waiting face. Mm, close. It's worse. It's pretty close. What are you doing? Uh, trying to figure out how to fix somebody else's um, stuff. <laughs> and because I can't use the word um, uh, yeah. camera that I actually want to use. Right. So this bus, as you know, was not shiny in places, shiny in places. We made the whole bus shiny and then we had adhesion issues in this panel. I, just this one. Just this one. So you did the same thing to everything. Yeah. But this one gave you a problem. Yep. So all three of these white spots, and you can kind of see the old. Yeah, it's like a it. blister or something. And, and yeah, it's lifting. So I sanded it all down, and I did a little filler in there, then wet sand some more, and then cleaned it, and cleaned it, and cleaned it, <laughs> and cleaned it some more, and then sanded it some more, and then cleaned it. And I'm wondering, is there anything else I need to do? Mm -hmm. before I attempt this repair again. Uh, again. Yay. Well, this is not a repair again, but my first go around, I ended up having just to put the sealer down. Yeah, yeah. To get it locked down, and it the sealer shouldn't react at all. Right. So something's reacting underneath, so I, I'm I'm fighting with it. Okay. So I had a reaction yeah. in the sealer, so I've taken care of that, did some filler work, sanded, 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 cleaned, cleaned, sanded. So now I'm trying to figure out the next step. Use so the force. Is all, is Use the learning. force. <laughs> this is all part of learning. All right. Well, that does not look fun. So I'm going to move on to something that does look fun. <laughs> what you got, Darren? Anything fun? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Let me think. There's, there's people on all sides of the building. So yeah. So we did some work in here. Let's do this. The inner sanctum. So you saw the other day they were working. So he's got the headliner yeah. put in oh, there. Nice. So these will probably be cutting it today. Oh, that's nice. Putting in glass soon. So he did that. Like this is Mr. Black's deal, and we're not. We didn't do the paint or none of that. We're just putting yeah. in some of his interior and his external parts. Put it together. Okay. So uh, we got that going on in here. Um, for some reason, all the guys are working on the outside today of the building. Oh, okay. Know, but Except for me. He's just and Jay. That way. But, and Jay. Jay, well, he will be in a minute. He just did here for a minute. So we got Miss Riley's gear. We're doing a couple of little touch-up things. We had a clutch cable issue where we got that sorted out. And it's real close. It's like ready to go on the road. Ooh. So we're going to go uh, get that deal. And, and, and the problem is, as soon as we get, I got two of them here. We're going to go to Mr. Hersker's. And it's a 940% chance of rain starting <laughs> at noon. So... Uh, yeah, we can't, can't take the cars that. out and drive in rain. So, and then it's going to rain today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So we're at the mercy, but her interior is all that he just do oh, is the pedal nice. touch up and stuff like that. And it's literally really, really close. Hey, Miss Riley, you were asking about your seat. What was she asking and about? She okay. wanted to know where the seat was because not both of them were installed yet. Oh, yeah. So yeah. she kept it. There you go. There it is. Woo. So, nice. We didn't forget your passenger seat. We got it. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Hersher is also, we finally figured out his horn problem. Oh, yay. Uh, Jay did. Yay, Jay. So we got it. We got to do a little touch up on it. I did, other than that, it's clean and ready. So and then it's got to drive. So I got two of them here lined up back to back that are stuck between that and that. And yeah. The, the, his issue and this <laughs> issue up here. So and then if we walk out this way, then we got Mrs. Bogan's car. We already talked about the motor we were getting ready to put in, but we're waiting on some seals that are coming today. And then Miss Bogan's. Uh, be going in there and then we'll start putting the wire harness and stuff on it. We've got another wire harness for it from Rebel Wire. Right here, Rebel Wire sends us our wire harness to get them for most of our cars from them. And uh, so we'll be putting the wire harness and assembling it. And then this is Mr. Uh, Bordelin's Gia pan. He's out here. So we've got um, Jeremy out here and the new guy, Todd, out okay, here. Hey. All got right. uh, them working on this is um the cripes remember we yeah last week we had a deal where we missed with that original yeah. yeah so this is their new pans being put in on the oh, on nice. the, the uh the um chassis that we found was good out of the three so Great. they're doing that and then we'll start building this back at the mean in the second minute we're gonna go out there and see Corey and 
Todd yesterday disassembled all of their cars and we picked the body that we're going to send and it's going to blast Tuesday. All right, great. Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mrs. Gagney's car there. It's pretty yeah. much all done. They got a little bit of just on the, on the, uh, um, engine to do and then it's done. Oh yeah, and St. Pierre's bus went home. St. Pierre went home Yay. yesterday, they came, picked up their bus, the Pierre's Yay. did, and they were happy as could be and That's awesome. they drove it out of here and we're so happy to be and they're Great. gonna go camping in it. So nice. we go out the side here and go All right. and look real quick at a bunch we got going on out that way. Like I said, we're we're three sixty today nice. around the shop. Yeah. That's the way I like it, I like stuff going on everywhere. Right, you know? It kind of, if you just pay attention, this is how busy it is. We got cars all over on the outside, <laughs> on the inside, on the roof, underneath the building. We got cars everywhere. I don't ever think I've taken this route on camera. So, yeah, guys, there you go. Cool, you huh? see the side entrance. <laughs> so, you did see the other day, this was this mess here is the crate, but yeah. we've narrowed it down to that body. It's the body we're going to send to blast. So, Corey's just about done now with it. Great. So, that green body's going. The blue rear fenders, the red, red front fenders. <laughs> The white doors <laughs> and the white uh, hood and deck lid are all going to get blasted. All right. And then out of all that, when it comes back for blast, if it isn't total trash, we'll paint that and put it together, and we'll be good to go. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, this was a this was the chassis off the white car, which turned Ooh. out to not to be the best choice either. Yeah. So we it's like mix and match. It's like yep. so the answer to the how many how many. How many uh, beetles does it? How yeah, many? Yeah. Three. Three, three yeah, beetles three. to make one beetle. Well, huh? This is they get to see it now. This is yeah. Now beetle. you see what we mean. So when look. Volkswagen talks about compatibility, yeah, they're not kidding. They're not kidding. So I have a question for you. We've got some things going home. Do you have advice for somebody who's just had a restoration done? What should they do? Not do? Yeah, there's some general things. Of course, everybody gets different stuff. But I'll give you an example. The St. Peter's went home yesterday. Yeah. So they had a new motor put in. So. We have break-in procedure for that, and they, they were really inquisitive anyways because they, they just spent a lot of money on a new motor. Sure. So I said, you know, we took, so the motors come to us with break-in oil. We take that out anyways and run out our test stand and put new oil in it. And uh, I, I tell them all these motors, they're made out of magnesium. Well, we don't have a motor there, yeah. but okay. it blocks magnesium, <laughs> yeah. yep. and it needs zinc. So you use a high zinc motor oil because you can't just throw any motor oil in because in these air-cooled engines, besides the air that's flowing around there, the cool the oil is also coolant so mm. anyway so i tell him all that and that, that he needed to uh to uh change do an oil change of 500 miles the first time regardless and then um a couple other things you know you, you need to check your valves about every third mm -hmm. okay, second mm -hmm. third oil change okay yeah yeah so just you know depending on how much you drive it and stuff like that but th that's different than a regular car so a regular car you, you don't have to check valves for years right, right? but on these that the the, the the way that they are built and the way that they run it and they, they knock them little valves out so you need to check them so we run through all that look you can't just get in and drive it right so and the other thing with the valves is like it's a good way to keep an eye on what's going on with your valves themselves because if you yeah. start mm, about ready to drop a, a valve seat yeah it's going to show up in your valve adjustments long mm. before that that valve seat goes into your pistons good. and that's really good that's not just a new motor that's anybody's motor so when they come we tell them some people just don't know that because if you're used to driving a regular car mm -hmm. a modern car you don't have to mess with that right there's a lot of electronics to take care of that stuff for you they adjust themselves as they're going the computer does all that so anyways and then um other things are like uh you know electrical issues check check your fuses you know make sure you keep up on that but um um uh wheel bearings you know there's a couple things they can check there it's just there's a lot of general maintenance mm -hmm. deals but um the biggest thing is on the on the motor side because you can really mess up on these little motors really the rest of the car is really hard to mess up I and mean, they've it been is. living 60 years driving on the right. road you don't really They're pretty I mean, sturdy get some of these cars in i'm almost guarantee you that those are the original bearings in this car and it's mm -hmm. you know but 71, 72, and there they are. So yeah. You can't really do that in a modern car these days. So. 50 years old. And but yeah. um, uh, the other thing and big uh, deal is heat on these motors. So, mm -hmm. you know, I told them yesterday and they were surprised because they've owned it for a long time. They didn't know that to walk up and grab the dipstick after it's been running on the motor. Uh -huh. And if it's hot, something's wrong. That's oh. an indication something is on the wing. So um, if it's not, then you're pretty much cool. So that's a really good check. The valves start getting out, it's going to run hot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if they're, if you're low on oil, it's going to be hot. If yeah. It's all, a bunch of things. So anyways, that's a really good check. Yeah. Great. To, uh, to first initial check, just for the layman that doesn't sure. know anything. And they're just 
They drive theirs to Canada. So I nice. said, on that long drive, can you imagine all the things that go on? And they brought theirs in because lo and behold, their other motor had rings out and it was, mm. had, had a lot of blow by. So they were using oil. So they right. knew it. And he said, I remember stopping to get gas and every time I go to check the oil, I grab that dipstick and it would be hot. hot. Huh? Yeah. Well, it is because first of all, it was losing oil and then sure. when it loses oil, it starts running a higher pressure. Everything starts running a higher temperature and boom, boom, boom. So there you go. So yeah. that would probably be one of the, one of the really good quick checks. Oh, that's motor. great. Overall motor check yeah. there, really. There Grab the dipstick and see how it's going. <laughs> Grab the dipstick, don't be the dipstick, right? And there's not really a whole lot of idiot lights in classic VWs, there's no, there's right? There's like two of them. There's two? a generator and the ultimate, or I'm sorry, the, the high beams, actually. Oh. No, there's a high beam one, but yeah, the, the generator and the brake. Right? Yeah, generator. That's it? One red, red, lights? red one with brakes. Red one, red, yeah. if a red light comes on, then you got a, or it's yellow ones to do. So yeah. they're different colors. Oh, wow. Anyways, there's, there's one that tells you when your brake fluid's low. Yeah. And then there's one that tells you when your your generator slash all generator's not charging. Okay. That's about it. That's about it. Hmm. Yeah, there's no idiot lights. You pretty much drive by the seat of your pants in the field. That's why we really <laughs> don't like radios and big stereo systems in these cars. Right. You but there is not one that comes on that says you're out of oil. Right. Right. You just don't. You just run out of oil. So, <laughs> you know. That's yeah. But yeah. Good. Um, um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, no, we, we got, uh, so next week, uh, Miss Susan and I will be over in um, um, York, England. Yeah. We're going to be going to the Field of Dreams. I think this is her fifth or sixth annual. Great. So come see us out there. It's the second, third, and fourth. In Yorkshire. Um, there you go. Yorkshire, England. And then uh, we've got, we're going to be going down to Tannehill. Volks Jam, uh, that's the 20 something is <laughs> 27 it's the 27th yep. yeah because it's this month so not this weekend but next weekend because it's when our son gets married ah! yeah, so so come by and see us and they're coming yeah, we'll be there. Uh, go see them don't see us and, we're gonna uh, be at a wedding yeah it'll be a split they'll be going that way i'll be going that way <laughs> so we'll be on the road and then after that but two months october. later in october yeah. October 22nd, we'll be here for our car show. Yeah. That benefit St. Jude, so come on down. Yeah. Right in the green, yeah. So we'll have uh, all past and present clients and anybody, so you don't have yeah. to know us. Just come on down. Just come on over. Buy a Coke or whatever and get a hot dog and, and come buy see a shirt. Some, and see some nice cars. cars. And then, you know, all the money, all the, most of that money goes to St. Jude, so we're good there. Yeah. And we then, blow uh, up an engine, too. We'll have some music and some <laughs> food stuff for the kids and a fire truck and maybe a moon wheel and we're gonna have all kinds of stuff going on yeah painting the little bug out there that we have every year for the kids yeah they so like that it'd be fun hopefully awesome. it doesn't rain hopefully right or the day before or the day before yeah. yep you, know, you never know most of the time we get we get good weather sometimes yeah, yeah. last year with ants yeah, yeah. the day before weather, but the day before the day before, the day before, before yeah cool. we were swampy show day was extra okay. swampy Makes it really fun for like them to bring stuff in. Our little Coke trailer got stuck Oh, yeah. It was fun. But anyways, we'll have fun Good times. We all come out. Good times. So. Sounds great. Well, so is it time to do that thing really? Time I think so. Thing? All right. Bye, nice, Bye, nice people. people.